Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. You can give us a call 952-540-9000. Welcome to give us a call to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. Uh, we do operate by appointment, 1030 to 6, Monday through Friday, 1030 to 3 on Saturdays. You can find the free Carfax available on our website, 411carline.com. Just click on the little Carfax icon next to the vehicle. All of our vehicles are fully inspected by third-party mechanic shops, and we do whatever they recommend as far as maintenance and safety uh, repairs. So uh, this one is a 2014 Jeep Wrangler Sport. It is well above average condition for the year and the miles. Um, which is basically why we bought it. Uh, it's pretty much, I don't want to say rust free, but it's like 90%, 95% rust free. Uh, it does have some slight surface underneath, but I'll show you that in a minute here. But um, you're welcome to have our vehicles inspected and there are uh, third party warranties available for an additional purchase price as well. So, so this Jeep, it does have a slight lift. Uh, it has Rubicon Express rear shocks, uh, or excuse me, shocks all around. So I assume that the coils are as well Rubicon Express, it looks like. They are gray in color, so usually that uh, kind of denotes that. Um, it does have aftermarket front and rear bumpers. This one's a winch bumper, as you can see. It has the factory fog lights inserted in there. Now it's a Jeep, so it's not perfect by any means, but it's not super scratch or anything. Um, it's got a little bit of something, I think they like, it kind of looks like they put like fluid film or something underneath it maybe. Um, and that's kind of what it looks like is on the grill there. But uh, grill's decently clean, chrome isn't perfect by any means. Uh, has a lot of nice accessories, has the uh, uh, bug deflector, rock deflector, whatever you want to call it. It has a light bar up there, factory flares, BFG all trains, excellent tread depth, you can see the tread depth there, I'll show you as I'm walking around each wheel the frame too, see the frame is nice and clean, other than whatever that stuff is, it could be from like a, I don't know, it's been detailed but it also could be from a dirt road or something and just the way that it scratches off, uh, it could be, I don't know. I'm unsure. Looks like they started to pressure wash it in the back um, at detail, but then they stopped. So, but it's relatively clean. The way I say it, the reason I say it's not 100% rust free, um, some of these parts you'll see have like a little bit of surface on them, but for the most part, super clean. Wheels are nice and clean, no pitting or anything. Paint's actually pretty decent. Um, there's a scratch here and there. That actually wasn't even a scratch, it just wiped right off. The doors, um, I can't do this one-handed, but I just lifted them up. You don't have to use a jack to take them off or anything. Um, you just, these are nice and loose because it's not rusty. Um, it has these for, for mirrors, um, and then they've got the foot pegs in the back too for putting your foot um, when you have the doors off, and the mirrors that attach onto here for when you have the doors off as well. It's got a light, uh, light sun, light tint film. Looks super nice. Keep walking around it here. Show you the frame. Again, I'm not sure what exactly that is on there, but I'll show you on the other side where they started to wash it off. See, it's relatively <coughs> clean underneath. That's, I think, AC condensation dripping there, so. Relatively clean. All right, let's keep walking around here. Aftermarket bumper on the rear. I've got a license plate thing coming for it too. It's got the full size spare. Um, it's a match tire too, which is rare usually. This uh, has, um, I'm drawing a blank on the name for this but they put this stuff in here um, there's a couple little bags that come with it as well um, tactical that's what these are with the little things uh, tactical seat covers and um, this is like a storage thing also protects the door it's got a rugged ridge I think these are rugged ridge they look like it or maybe they are Jeep uh, all-season mats it's of course a removable hardtop 
uh, with the freedom panels. It has uh, handles here, handles up in the front. All the grab handles, or as we used to call them when I was rock crawling growing up, oh shit handles. The truck is really clean though. All right, I'll show you underneath here. You can see the Rubicon Express shocks there. Very slight lift, maybe like a two inch, I would guess, maybe three tops. It's just right. So, I guess I didn't tell you the tire size. Those, these are 285 70 17. They look like they're sh just shy of a 33, I suppose. Maybe a little bit between a 31 and a 33. You can see where they started to wash the stuff off here. Um, and the way that it comes off almost looks like some sort of fluid film and the dirt stuck to it or something, but not 100% sure. But you can see like the factory sticker there still. Got side steps, seat covers. Um, I haven't taken the seat covers off, but the seats are really nice underneath. I just figured they protect the seats, so keep them on. The door is pretty nice. Needs to be cleaned a little bit better. Got something on it from detail, it looks like. But freedom panels, like I said, it's got grab handles here, grab handles here, back seat. Nice, it's got seat cover on it as well. So, um, this is a two owner with outstanding service history. It's from Nebraska. All right, so, I'll show you the top too, the hard top. I already said that, I think. It's got the rear wiper and rear defrost. I believe that might have been an option, maybe a standard in these, but maybe it was just an option in the older ones. Oh, 83 for miles. Um, the gas light is on because it needs gas, of course. Vehicles here always need gas, it seems like. Um, it does have uh, Bluetooth connectivity, or excuse me, Bluetooth voice, so it's, it looks like. I have not connected it myself, but that's what this is in, in Mopar products, Chrysler products. Uh, it has auxiliary port. manuals in here. does have the USB port in here. I have used that, so that does work for sure. It's got a cover for the center console because a lot of times those get ripped and damaged. Um, it's also a locking center console. So automatic transmission, climate control, AC works. It's nice and cold right now. I actually had to turn it down a little bit because it's too cold. Um, freedom panels, as I mentioned, which are these things, which are removable. Um, what else here? Let's see. Fog lamps. Cruise control. This one is uh, crank windows and um, manual locks. So the key is just a key. Some of these didn't come with fobs, they were manual. Nice, less stuff to go wrong, especially in a Jeep. All right, let's see if I can open the hood here and... Yep, I got it, all right. V6 all covered up, of course. Really nice truck. Nice and quiet. Sometimes it's... V6s are a little ticky. This one is uh, nice and quiet. So, I think that's about everything on this one. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 952 540 9000. Uh, also, give us a call at 720 Please, 952 540 9000. Thank you, appreciate your time today. Have a great day.